What are Select, Poll, and Apple used for in networking applications? Select, Poll, and Apple are used for I.O. multiplexing in networking applications. They allow monitoring multiple file descriptors, such as sockets, for various types of events. How do Select and Poll obtain network events? When Select or Poll is called, the program passes a set of file descriptors to the kernel. The file descriptors passed to Select, Poll, and Apple are typically the connected socket descriptors. The kernel examines the status of each file descriptor and determines which ones have generated events. The program can then iterate over the returned file descriptors to handle the corresponding events. How does the SELECT function implement multiplexing? The SELECT function implements multiplexing by placing connected sockets in a file descriptor set and then calling the SELECT function to copy the file descriptor set to the kernel. The kernel checks for network events by iterating over the file descriptor set. The file descriptors are organized into three sets, REDFs for readable events, WRITEFs for writable events, and ERIFs for exceptional events. The kernel checks the status of each file descriptor in these sets and adds the ones with events to the corresponding set. The file descriptor set is then copied back to user space, where the application can iterate over it to find the readable or writable sockets for further processing. What are the limitations of SELECT? SELECT uses a fixed-length bitmap to represent the file descriptor set and has a limitation on the number of supported file descriptors. In Linux systems, this limit is defined by FD underscore set size, with a default maximum value of 1024, allowing monitoring of file descriptors from 0 to 1023. How does Poll obtain network events? With Poll, the program provides an array of Poll structures, each containing a file descriptor to monitor and the events of interest. When poll is called, the kernel checks the status of each file descriptor in the array and updates the events field of the corresponding poll structure to indicate the events that occurred. The program can iterate over the array to handle the events. How does poll overcome the limitations of select? Poll overcomes the limitations of select by using a dynamic array or linked list to store the file descriptors of interest. This allows it to break the limit on the number of file descriptors imposed by select. However, it still has similarities to select in terms of the linear structure used to store the sockets and the need to iterate over the file descriptor set for finding readable or writable sockets. How does Apple obtain network events? Apple uses a red-black tree in the kernel to track the file descriptors of the monitored sockets. The sockets to be monitored are added to the red-black tree using the Apple underscore CTL function. When an event occurs on a socket, it is added to the ready event list in the kernel. When the user calls the apple underscore wait function, it blocks until events occur on the monitored file descriptors. It returns the number of file descriptors with events without the need to scan the entire socket collection. What are the edge-triggered and level-triggered event-triggering modes supported by Apple? In edge-triggered mode, when a readable event occurs on a monitored socket descriptor, the server is awakened only once from apple underscore wait. Even if the process does not call the read function to read data from the kernel, it will still be awakened only once. Therefore, the program must ensure that it reads all the data from the kernel buffer in one go. In level triggered mode, when a readable event occurs on a monitored socket, the server will be continually awakened from apple underscore wait until the data in the kernel buffer is completely read by the read function. The purpose is to inform the program that there is data to be read. What is the advantage of edge triggered mode over level triggered mode in terms of efficiency? Edge triggered mode is generally more efficient than level triggered mode because it reduces the number of system calls to Apple underscore wait. System calls have some overhead due to context switching. However, it's important to note that the efficiency advantage is realized in specific scenarios and not in all cases. What are the advantages of Apple over select and poll? First, it uses a red-black tree in the kernel to track the file descriptors being monitored, allowing efficient operations with a time complexity of O log N. This eliminates the need to pass the entire socket set to the kernel for each operation, reducing data copying and memory allocation between user space and kernel space. Second, Apple uses an event-driven mechanism with a ready event list in the kernel. When an event occurs on a socket, it is added to this list. When the user calls Apple underscore wait, only the number of sockets with events is returned, avoiding the need to scan the entire socket set like select and poll. This greatly improves the detection efficiency. Third, Apple supports both edge-triggered mode and level-triggered, while select and poll only support level-triggered mode.